Tonight, I'm showing you my bathtub cabinets. In order to get more storage space in my bathroom, I decided to build some shallow cabinets underneath my bathtub. This was the last step in our bathroom remodel. One important requirement of this design is that I still need access to the water shutoff valves and the outlet controlling the jets in the tub. This build is essentially a face frame cabinet without the cabinet structure. I built the frame with poplar just like the vanity cabinet using pocket screws. I also made the trim to match the vanity style as well using a code router bit. The flat panel doors were made using a shaker style rail and bit set with quarter inch plywood as the floating panel. During the glue up of these doors, I put a dab of glue in the center at the base of the frame to prevent the panel from shifting or rattling. Since this is plywood, I'm not too concerned about the wood expanding or contracting. Once the doors were fully assembled, I routed out a notch for the finger hold. I then drilled the holes for the hinges using a forstner bit. The cabinet boxes were cut to the exact size of the framing studs with a lip nailed on the back edge of either side. This would hold a magnetic catch and prevent the back panels from slipping out behind the cabinet. The backs of the cabinets were cut slightly smaller than the opening in the frame so they could be completely removed if necessary. I also drilled and glued in a small peg to act as a handle for removing the back when needed. While it's definitely not my preference, my wife insisted on painting these cabinets white to match the surrounding tile. In order to get a better surface finish, I sprayed the pieces separately before assembling all of the parts together. For the final assembly, I didn't want to put nails or screws in the face of the cabinet, so I used liquid nails and a few clamps to secure the face frame. Once this was fully dry, I again used liquid nails and a few real nails to install the top, bottom, and sides of the cabinet boxes. After doing some minor trimming on the panel backs, the boxes were complete. Finally, I installed the dummy panels on either end of the tub and mounted the doors. This was the last step of my master bathroom remodel. And after a full year, it's really good to be done. Thanks for watching.